big crit and Kendra getting involved with In Another Life, it was it, everything just happened organically. It wasn't really anything that was uh, contrived, you know. The universe did that. We had already had the, the music done. We were doing, like I said, we were doing like two, three songs a day. Crit and 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 Kendra, they came to the studio to hear the stuff. And they gravitated towards the songs that they liked. With Kendra, I was working with him on his album at the time. And the way he kind of got the idea, I think, to call me was he was working with Cat, but then he had came to hang out at Adrian's studio and Adrian played him the, played him the music that we were doing. And he was like, dude, I'm, I'm, he called me up on the phone like, yo, I'm listening to shit, she's awesome, you know? And then I was like, ding, well, yay, jump on it, bro. You know? <laughs> the same thing with, uh, with Crit. We were making so much music, me and Adrian, on, on uh, In Another Life that we just looked up one day and was like, dude, we got like, 15 songs and is this an album because we just hanging out like i don't even know you bro <laughs> you know so he's like yo let's go to Raphael's studio so Raphael lives not too his studio is like not too far from adrian spots when we go there and he's working with crit and you know they're doing the the the, the song he did on on his album the, the, the soul food song and they're playing we're playing each other our music and we played the Pleasure Toy record, and he's like, and I was like, ding, you know what? This would be a great idea. That's what, you know, it would be awesome for me in my life. <laughs> so I'm all, I'm all about things happening organically. Even if I'm not there, it has to come about in an organic way, you know? So I felt like the universe just kind of made all of the... Um, people that's on this record kind of come to me. They came to me, you know, through the universe and I guess through like positive thought or some shit. <laughs> when you come in and you're doing something that everybody else is not doing, you have to have a sense of if you believe you can achieve it. That's how D'Angelo, why D'Angelo is D'Angelo. That's why Prince is Prince. I was like, I don't know what you want me to do. Like we don't wear the same size. So uh, and it was just a moment, you know, and the music was going. So he ran out there, took his pants off and finished the show in his boxers. You know, I ate good, you know, nice chunk of the brownie. I ate most of the brownie. And I remember looking, sitting in my hotel room and I was laying there and, and, the, and the ceiling started spinning. We got one room, we doubled up, you know what I'm saying? We was just writing hard body, the ocean was behind us. And I remember us being up all night. 